Good evening. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I've been busy all day getting ready for the two sales I'm doing this weekend. One is tomorrow night with D of Thrill of the Thrift. And you know how us guys are, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Add in Ron and the animals, and yeah, we got us a party. And then Saturday, we are going to do, us ladies are going to uh, do a uh, sale with Vintage Vinny. And that, too, should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, Vinny will behave himself. Well, I have here a small haul. Um, there is this huge resale store in Valparaiso. And it's called New Creation. Now, I have bought stuff in there before as far as like hard goods. And uh, eh, their prices, I think, are kind of high. But... Um, they have a lot of stuff now, so I noticed their prices were a lot lower. But anyway, they were posting videos every day with all this Christmas stuff they had. I mean, it was like a Christmas wonderland. You couldn't believe it. And there were a few things I wanted to get, but I missed out. They weren't there. But when I went in, they still had a buttload of stuff left. So, um... I said to the uh, guy at the counter, I says, uh, when is half price going to start? And he said, oh, it starts today. And I said, oh, okay, good. So everything I got was half price. Now, I did buy a few things for myself, but I did buy a few things for resale. And I will show you all of it, but I will let you know if it's for me or resale. And I'm going to try to do me stuff first. So um, I got this pillow and I liked it because it was plaid. And I do like, I do love snowmen. Uh, I love Black Bear making snowmen, especially. I thought that was rather intriguing. So I got this nice pillow. And um, I got a plethora of weirdness here. I got a pot holder. I think it's just one. Yeah, and four coasters together. Uh, I'm keeping the pot holder, but I am selling the coasters because there is four, um, I would call them matching, um, placemats that look like this. I mean, they're really, really nice ones. I love them. I already have a bunch or I would keep them, but I already have a bunch. So I thought these would look really, I thought these went really well with the coaster. So, coasters. Because there's four placemats and there's four coasters. I'm trying to get them straightened out here. And I'm, I admire somebody who can do this kind of stuff. I belong to a knitting group in my church and I have the time don't even show up because I really don't know how to do anything. Very good. Already then, there were three bottle brush trees sitting up front. This one, I really haven't seen one like this before. It was like this. It has the little bottom like this. Like it was just pulled out of the <laughs> It must be a, um, what's the name of that family? Griswold. Yeah, where they just pull it right up out of the ground. Griswold. The Griswolds. And then there are two with white plastery looking bottoms like this. So I said, yeah, we'll take those. We always can use those. I got this to put my mini tree in. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work, but I thought I'd try it. And if not, and I'll do something else with it. Uh, I got this old guy who I thought was just absolutely adorable. And it's a penguin making snow angels. Look at that little guy. He's laying on the ground making snow angels. And um, 
he does I mean he is a figurine that lays on the ground but you could hang him up as well so yeah and he's in perfect shape I don't see any issues with him unless I keep flipping him around and I break him then there'll be an issue won't there all right okay what do we got here I mean, there was a lot of stuff, but there was a lot of stuff I was ignoring because I just didn't think it would be something you all would be interested in. I did get this Homco um, bank because I know these are vintage. They're at least 40 years old because my children have gotten them from their aunt when, way back when when she was in Home Interior. So, so that is at least 40 years old, and it's in nice shape. It's got its cork. So, I got that. Um, I got this big bag of bulbs. Because I know y'all like to put these in bowls and stuff. And I thought that'd be kind of cool. So, I got that. Or they're good for crafting. You know, you can make ornaments out of them. I'm going to keep bobbing them down. I'm sorry. And then I got this really cute um, angel pin. Uh, I was trying to see if, it had a, if I saw a maker on it. No, I don't. Wait. No, I think it's just decoration on the neck. Anyway, it's this little angel right here. I thought she was awfully cute. It looks kind of like it's made out of that... Um, dough, you know, it's a dough angel. So I thought that was sweet. Um, this next thing is pretty cool, guys. Look at this. It is a vintage Santa, one of them that walks, and when it walks, it rings the bell. I haven't tried him out yet. There's no batteries in him. Um, he's missing one. I think they take double. Or they take C batteries. So I'm going to have to get some batteries. I don't know if I have any or not. But this guy probably will be in the sale to, uh, on Saturday. Yeah. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. A long time. And he's got like a plastic or rubber face, you know. And then the next thing... Is this a ceramic tree? Yes, it's it's the bottom is in there, still in the box, but um, it has all its balls. Well, I dropped one accidentally, but I have some extras from when you know, that I have in case I lose one of my own, because I've had the same tree since nineteen seventy six or seventy eight when my mother made it. I don't. Well, I just dropped another one, and another one, and another one. I was trying to see uh, whoever made it did not sign it. And I was trying to see if it might have said when it was made or something, but I can't tell. But I will get all them back in place. Um, this one does not have a tree topper star, um, you know, for, place for one. But I loved it because it was flocked. You know, it looks like it has snow on the tree. So, um... I believe this will be up tomorrow night as an offer up. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So, alrighty, that's the bottom. We'll just leave that. Maybe I, I wish Bandit, I could send him out shuffling around looking for the <laughs> for what I dropped. And this. They're so festive, way more festive than my church is, how they do there. Let's see, ours Ron's scissors way over there. I might be able to break it. Oh, I'll just break the whole bag. Why not? You can't see them if we don't open the bag up. It's a whole bag of ornaments. And there is a teddy bear. And it says they're all fabric, so we'll see. This one's kind of cute. It's a heart. It says 25 on it. I like that one. 
That's really, that's very uh, kind of countryfied looking. Yeah. And then there's one of these. Um, I actually have one somebody made me. A uh, bell that's crocheted and it's starched. And there is a, what is this? Uh, I think it's a swan. I do. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he found him. He's tossed him around now. I think this might be a swan. And this is a candy cane. This one's cute. I love uh, gingerbread boys and girls. This one's cute. It's a good size one, too. And uh, a Christmas tree that says ho, ho, ho. Man, they had them jammed in there. <laughs> and here's a snowman with a tag. Crazy mountain. Congratulations. You own an authentic crazy mountain product. Pretty nice looking snowman, actually. And a goose. And it does not have blue. Nicole from, uh, I think it's Nicole. Yes, it's Nicole from uh, Nesting, whatever. Adventures, uh, whatever. She uh, is always thinking these are going to be in a comeback. If you hear a noise in the background, Ron's making me a um, grilled oh, cheese. And then there's this one. It's like... Um, I don't know, like fiber of some kind. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now I have a big old pile of that right there. Okay, then I found these, which I have not seen in forever. Um, first, there is a Wizard Air Freshener. Voila, thank you. And it's an angel. And I know they don't make these anymore. I know these are old. And then these are Avon. Um, and they're like wax. And then they had uh, a candle in the top. But the whole thing is wax. This one still has its bottom on it. It says Avon Mr. Snow Light Bayberry Fragrance Candle. They don't really smell like it anymore. But, um, yeah, they look like this. Those are neat. And I know for sure these are old. On those, they're old. All right. Oh, I might have to take a bite. Mmm. 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 These... Say they're made see there's Taiwan or Japan I think but they look like this they're paper mache and it's funny because this one has no eyes this one has one eye but I think they look pretty good without eyes so and they're on skis a boy and a girl she's giving them the one eye so, yeah, I'll take them out and we'll look at them better tomorrow or whenever. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is three pieces. It says Mary. It's got little mice on it. And then it's got Christmas. I thought that was real cute. And it's from 19... Eighty-five, maybe? Alright. I got... I got this for myself. It's a round tablecloth. Flat. 
Uh, oh. Bubble wrap I'm stepping on. Okay. I got two short candles for something. Something. Something I was selling. I wanted to put candles in it. And this is um, a candle made by made in Troy, Michigan. I don't know if they sold it at Kmart, but it was a it's a dog candle. I said, so cute. This is made by um, Midwest, made in Japan, and it is a Santa. Um, one of his little reins is broken, I think. But anyway, it's a Santa on a sleigh with a candle holder. And uh, I bought some towels because I don't have any Christmas towels that are heavy that go in my bathroom and this is just the right color for my bathroom so I got those oh. and I got this um, left in China um, spoon thing huh spoon thing <laughs> no, I a spoon thing it is a um you know, it's a like a candy dish or a trinket dish or something. Candy dish, I'd say. Looks like it would fit a lot of good fudge on there. And uh, I liked it because I also got a tree that I'm going to sell on Friday night. This one I'll sell on Saturday because they're white and not that dark green. And a lot of people would rather have white. So I got this. And I actually had never seen bells before. And... Uh, have that. And the last thing I have is from Kohl's originally. They're made by Oneida. And it is says Snowmates hand painted earthenware. Let me take one of them out. Um, they're little canopy plates or appetizer plates. As we in Indiana like to call it. And they're very cute like that. So I think somebody would like to have them if they're having anybody over for Christmas. Um, we uh, obviously don't know what the deal is at this juncture in life. But um, I would imagine we might have at least four people over. So that is my haul. Um, like I said, you will be seeing... Um, a few things in my sale tomorrow night and uh, some in, on my sale on Saturday. Saturday, we're having we're selling less because there's three of us. But between the two sales, um, in fact, I got to talk with you about that. Between the two sales, I'm selling the, the same amount I would normally sell. Um, I do already have one um, um, mystery box ready, a Christmas one. Uh, let me know below if you're interested in uh, me making more. And would you like Christmas ones or regular ones or whatever? And I will keep tabs and I'll try to do what you've asked before the sale tomorrow. Uh, at the, at Vinny's sale, he said he didn't want anything, no extra stuff, just straight out whatever we have. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow, and you have a good Thursday night. Um, I hope somebody's making grilled cheese for you, because somebody made it for me. And just remember, it, it was very beautiful here today in the 60s. It's going to be almost 60 tomorrow. Somebody 65. 
It's going to be 65 tomorrow, and then it's going to get back into the 40s. But tomorrow will be nice. So um, wherever you're at, whatever the weather is, if you're outside or you do go in a store or something, please be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Sanitize when you get out of that store. And quit. don't rub your eyes and stuff. And just be safe. And I love you guys. Appreciate you so much. Um, yeah. You have kept me from going bonkers during the uh, pandemic. Talk to you later.